Hey, what it is, cuz? This is the Ella A71. I am back with another episode of Civ 5. 43 AI uh, domination only. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that was just my ghetto intro. Um, I'm back with another episode of Civ 5. Uh, we start an episode in 3, 2, 1, next turn. Hey. And a lot of people got announced, but I'm pretty sure when I was at last turn. So Morocco just announced Arabia. They're haters. Morocco just announced Arabia. Everyone's... No, Morocco hasn't been... Um, Arabia's not been announced that much. Russia just announced Byzantium. It's pretty bad, because Russia's actually a powerhouse. Will Sweden be eliminated this turn? That is the real question. Doesn't matter to me. Less processing power from my computer. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, less processing time, not less processing power, but whatever. Um, we see denunciations to and fro. We see Japan growing. We see the Iraq Corps joining. I don't see why they're still first place. I hate them. I actually really hope they don't win because I am a I am a hater of their Civ TBH. Um. The Hour Corps just declared Washington and so did the Incas. I don't see why the Incas did, that's pretty weird, but um the Hour Corps again declared war in Washington. They have been they have been covering their lands for some time now. Thankfully, um Washington isn't isn't dealing with musket men yet. That would suck. We see America defending hard now. Uppsala was captured by by Denmark. We see Denmark being a powerhouse this turn. Will Turku be captured with with the next two turns? That is a real question. If it is, Sweden will be will be eliminated from the game. And it doesn't even look like uh, Sweden can even take back any cities of theirs because they don't even have melee units anymore. Egypt just announced Byzantium, and Egypt also announced Arabia. Egypt is announcing everybody. Carthage is chilling with its two, three cities. Carthage is announcing Arabia. Everyone's hating on Arabia. Assyria announced Arabia. Everyone, why is everyone hating on Arabia? I don't understand. Did they do something bad? Yeah, they declared war on Bab on on Assyria, but I mean that was a while back. Poland and Persia are now friends. Good for them, I guess. Turku will not survive another turn, I think. It has how much defense does it have? It has 15 defense. And those those it has three crossbowmen on its asker. That does not outlook is not well for, for, for Sweden as of right now. Has uh, Songhai captured the Moroccan cities yet? They really hide the defense. No, they have not. Polynesia and Austrian are friends. There's a new risk agreement in Austria that announced Arabia. And it's the open announce. Why is everyone announcing Arabia right now? Persian and Catholics are not friends. Persia and denounced Arabia too. Okay. Germany did not story of uh, area too. Song on the ally. I think it was not sure who it was. <laughs> Next turn. Um Turku will probably fall. We see the Arco advancing on the American colonies. Not making any dents.
Oh, Turkey was not captured this turn. Sweden will live on one last turn. Mongolia and Arabia and so Mongolia also did not present you. Genghis Khan just enters the Renaissance era. Pretty late behind actually. The Huns and also Arabia. Poor Cal poor Carthage just entered the medieval era. Okay. Poland is announced France and Poland also announced Arabia. Arabia is getting like 20 announced denunciations this turn. Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna name the episode Everyone Hates Arabia. <laughs> Polynesia announced Poland. Okay. Gandhi entered the Renaissance era. India announced Arabia too. Indonesia announced Arabia and so and they also announced Poland. Announced Poland, okay. Oh my god, Indonesia expanded for once. They now have five cities, including a city on what is this? Including a city on Australia, guys. They have, um Japan also ex expanded to Indonesia, so they're not pissing Indonesia off. And let's hit the Swedish Empire is gonna fall this turn. They will be officially eliminated from the game. Japan has captured Daegu. Took them about two hundred years to capture it. Just to raise it, okay. Korea has been exiled to just one city. Turku has been captured and Sweden has been eliminated from the game. And that's Arabia. So now we are done with the area. The next great war will probably be between Russia and Denmark, which Denmark will probably lose. Breda will most likely um, is the only city on the Scandinavian front on the Scandinavian area that is not owned by Denmark. Japan captured Daegu, but it was split back to to the Koreans. Japanese samurais are starting to enter the area. Japan's starting to get a huge army. Polynesian America now friends. Spain also announced Poland.
the British Empire is from the British Empire's army is very, very, very outdated. The Aztecs and the Incas made peace. One city had, was moved over to Aztec hands. The Celts are an era behind just entered the medieval era. Carthage just announced Poland. Everyone's announcing Poland too now. How much shades does Poland have? Poland only has five cities. If the open just announced Poland, okay. Everyone's second their turns, and since there's no major wars going on, we're basically we basically reached a, a standstill for this episode, unfortunately, but it will all be done. We see uh, the Iroquois trying to move in on the Americans, but not doing a very good job moving in. Washington and New York is very, very defensible. New York with its lake and its mountains surrounding it, and Washington is just, um, is just um, has a river next to it. Are those knights or are those lancers? Lancers are much more weaker than knights, in my opinion. It's a knight. Uh, Songhai and Morocco made peace, and it looks like Rabat was captured, leaving the Mar Moroccans with only one city left, which is Mar Marrakech. I don't see why um, Songhai would just burn down that city, but okay, to his or her own, to his or her own, I guess. Poland still trying to take 
Hamburg, but they really don't know how to take it. The Prussian one army is much more advanced than Germany's army. I'm surprised because Denmark just like destroyed an entire civilization and no one's really denounced them. Pedro declared war on Washington to probably try and take Seattle again. This time I should have better chance of cleaning because they have they have three they have two Chinese on Seattle. The social made peace of Washington. I don't think anything changed in that area though. I don't think no cities were changed. Nope, no cities were exchanged. Morocco made peace of Ramses. They didn't have much to give. Russia down to Russia Russia down Egypt, Russia down Songhai, Russia and Polynesia are now friends, and there's a new research agreement with Russia and somebody else. I don't know who else. Uh, the hour records into the Renaissance era. They're pretty late too because they're in there in first place. Denmark just declared war on on Germany. That's gonna be pretty interesting considering all the parties of trying out are um rich. China knows Denmark, China announced Poland, and China has also announced the Ottomans. I was like, man, look at all y'all. All y'all, I'm a hate on all y'all, just whatever. Denounce, denounce, you get a denunciation, you get a denunciation. England announced Shanghai, England announced Egypt, and Mongolia denounced Denmark. For some reason. Oh, I would denounce Denmark too. He's just killing everybody. Ethiopia and Egypt made peace. I don't think any cities were exchanged. Does not allocate? No. If he doesn't own Egypt. Uh, Austria and Germany are now France. Austria and that's Mongolia. They were like, excuse Mongolia? Who's Sinai's new ally? Sinai's new ally is Poland. No, Siam place. Sinai's new ally. Sinai's new ally is Siam. <sighs> Um. 
Indonesia dollars in Denmark. I wish they didn't each other these days. Why can't they all be friends? The Netherlands are also on the chopping block. So the, the city is currently on the chopping block. They only have they have less than three cities are Korea. Korea. Morocco. Korea, Morocco, and Germany. And the Netherlands. Maybe America. Morocco just announced Sankai, Morocco also just announced Egypt. Russia just announced Mongolia. Just so much pronunciation, it's probably gonna be like a hundred this turn. But it's even announced Denmark, okay. Uh Japanese just, just captured the city of Daegu and they're gonna burn it down because they feel like it. So if the Je if the Koreans want to take it back, they have one turn to take it back. It's all South Korea. It's all South Korea. Okay, so. It is destroyed by Korea was destroyed by the Japanese. A lot of copper, but that's all. That, that's, that's what they eat for food. Copper. That's all they have to eat. Jap the Korea has been reduced to K song and only has six people in it, six million people, whatever. You know what I'm saying. There's a new research agreement. Korea is taking its irrelevant turn. They did not recapture Daegu, which means that you will be burnt to the ground next turn. And the Japanese will be advancing the K song. And the Koreans are not even eliminated this, this episode. Right. Sweden was eliminated this turn. Sweden was eliminated this turn too. Eliminated this episode too. We said Denmark is not far from capturing the rich. Will they move on to Berlin? That's the real question. Berlin. Polynesia also announced Mongolia. The um, is also announced Mongolia. India announced Mongolia. Everyone's pissed at Mongolia. Ethiopia announced Mongolia. Everyone's hating Mongolia, Arabia, and Poland this turn. They're just hating. Arabia. 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 I guess. Indonesia also announced Mongolia. And Germany also announced Mongolia. Japan just announced Denmark. I wouldn't be surprised if India just went postal on the side to take out um, Arabia. Well, at least these two cities in Arabia. Najran and Kufa. But Arabia has camel archers. Them camel archers are though too OP I'm telling you. Look at that. Pretty sure Zulus could fit one more city that they really they have impies too. Impies are scary.
Siam declared war on Persia, and so did Mong the Hunts. That's a very interesting war, also. Sam's not gonna do much, but the Hunts really will. And he just announced Denmark. Has also have one over. Morocco and Austria are now friends. Blue Red will most likely be captured this turn. Say John Korea may pace with um Japan, but there are one city left. America or the Aztecs just declare war in America. The Aztecs are doing really well this turn. This 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 game. I don't know who just entered someone entered the Middle Ages era, someone entered the Renaissance era. Puck House, Claire Wong. Everyone's hitting on Washington. Washington's gonna die very, very soon, guys. And Denmark and Denmark just captured Rich. Oh. 
Ramadan. Getting to the middle of the Oh, it's not gonna let me choose, but oh well. Everyone's starting to converge on poor, poor, poor America. Russian Moroccan now best friends. All right, we just announced Denmark. Denmark announced Egypt. Everyone's hating on poor Egypt. And Atlanta's about to start getting besieged hardcore. And uh, Denmark's seeing who we are. Towns, Austria, Denmark, Towns, Egypt. Atlanta's going to be gone within the, within the episode. Pocatello declared a war on the so What? That is going to be. That's the first major war of the game, guys. Not the main, first major war, but you know. Uh, what's it called? The Social declared a war on the Iroquois. They're the top three civs. Hamburg signing it besieged by Poland. Will Germany be eliminated? Maybe not. Maybe. Well, who knows? As for Atlanta, Atlanta will be removed from the American Empire, and so might Seattle. Mm -hmm. Seattle, maybe. Maybe. Oh, now I see why the Incas declare war on America. They want Seattle. America have a really strong line and they have the river to defend them. The real question is how did they get that caravel there? <laughs> Aaron, look. There's a caravel in a small little area, but there's no city connected to it. <laughs> 
I know, but you know, it's just weird. That's good for defense, I guess. It does look like the Denmark Empire is moving on to Berlin. Will they be able to capture it? Considering that the German army can decimate it already? Most likely. Carthage just sent the Ottomans. The top three right now are the Iroquois, Wu, China, Soshon, Mongolia, Russia, Brazilian, the Aztecs, and Songhai. Those have all become runaway sieves. Hawata has not become the snowballer yet. They have not snowballed completely yet. Washington made peace with Brazil. Did Brazil take Seattle? No, he did not. Polynesia declared war on on Korea some time ago, and they just finished capturing Kaesong. Korea, Polynesia just captured the first city, and with that first city that they captured, they eliminated Korea from the game. Darius made peace with Singapore. Persia made peace with Singapore. Persia made peace with just with Singapore. Okay, cool. All right. The Netherlands just announced Denmark. Denmark is just absolutely destroying everybody right now. I would never have guessed that there would be a civ to get to get the ball rolling. Morocco has announced Byzantium. Morocco has been reduced to one to one city. Korea was just eliminated. Of the hour remaining progress on the American part. Let's see. Actually, no, they have not. America is doing a really good job defending, but Aztecs will most likely capture Atlanta this turn. Will they move on to Boston or Philadelphia? Who knows? Denmark's bringing in reinforcements as we speak to to Germany. So I actually have a huge naval empire. That's ridiculous. Persia and the Azte and and the Mongolia just made peace with each other. No cities were exchanged in that peace treaty. Will the Aztecs oh. capture Atlanta this turn? Most likely. I see in Carthage enough friends.
Montezuma in Paso Pedro with this acquisition of Atlanta. Pulling the Savannah for Ottomans. Atlanta was captured. And for some reason, Atlanta sent the, sent the city of Atlanta blaze. I don't know why you would do that. It's a good city. We see the Polish starting to besiege Hamburg. Will they be able to take who's gonna take Berlin though? Do -do -do. Oh and then France are now friends. They're not best friends for life. Is the Obis and also Ottomans? Ottomans have been how much will say two the Ottomans have only two cities left. Persian North Mongolia, and so per Persian and Byzantium are not friends. Oh, um. that was Denmark. Attila just entered the Renaissance era, so the Huns just entered the Renaissance era. Else is, let's see who's under ASCII. I can't look right now, okay. And that has been recaptured by America. China's entered the Renaissance era pretty late in terms of political power. You don't know France, there was a new research agreement between France, I think. The Huns in India have announced a center research agreement, okay. Atlanta was recaptured by the Aztecs, and the Aztecs set the city of Atlanta ablaze again. And they only have one turn to retake it, or else Atlanta would burn to the ground. Because it was in the Renaissance era. I wonder if there's any Carol going around the world right now, seeing other ships. I wonder how long until the, uh, until the World Congress is found.
The session is not the Aztecs. I really hope that they declare war in the Aztecs so I can show them up with their um, muskmen. Are they right from the middle? Oh, it's still muskmen. Yeah, muskmen. Merchant is the most of Ottomans. Byzantine Polonia Journal of France. Mm -hmm. See a bunch of our court troop movement, but not really enough to budge the American defense defensive line. Berlin and Hamburg are starting to get besieged. Germany will be there in this episode or the next episode. The Zulus just announced Austria, and the Zulus have also announced Egypt. There's a new research agreement. And India and Carthage are now friends. They're now best friends. I'll do one more turn and then I must go. That work. Actually, no, I'll be ending the episode here for today, guys. But I will go over demographics on the World Fact Book. <laughs>